Welcome to Mouse in the Morning, the best way to start your day with the happiest place on earth. I'm Andrew. I'm Patrick. And I've got a hat. And I've got a box. <laughs> Let's, Let's talk, talk Disney. Disney. <laughs> oh, God. So a few episodes back, we talked a little bit about the Haunted Mansion and the potential that there might be the new... Hatbox Ghost, but we didn't really talk about what the Hatbox who Ghost... Who is the Hatbox Ghost? That's right. Who is Hatbox? So here's the backstory about the Haunted Mansion and the Hatbox Ghost in context. Very quickly, rapid fire. Beep, 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 beep. There was a character in the mansion called the Hatbox Ghost. And I don't know if he was necessarily given that name initially, but that's what he's come to be known by now. I mean, he just, he had a hat box and he had his head on his shoulders and then his head would disappear and then show up in the box and... Hence yes. the name, right? Yes. They designed this animatronic of the Hatbox Ghost in, an, in a controlled environment. The illusion of his head disappearing and reappearing in the box was successful. Mm -hmm. But when they put him in the ride, and with all the Doom buggies kind of being at different angles and everything, um, he, the illusion was not as effective. So he was in the ride during the previews of the ride. As a ride operator, I was given an opportunity to ride the ride about a week before opening. We were able to go around for two hours. And I remember distinctly this is where it was, but before the ride opened, that figure was gone. The whereabouts of the Hatbox Ghost is to this day a mystery, but I can attest to the fact that I saw it in this very spot originally. And then, this is the other thing, uh -huh. is that there are photographs of the Imagineers working on him, on the animatronic. And so that was the other thing too, is like, who's this guy? He's not in the mansion, but he right. looks awesome. So when do we get to see him? The concept art, the advertising, for the Haunted Mansion, the Hatbox Ghost was in the oh, yeah. imagery I mean, for was, a lot of the he advertising. Was he was kind of one of the main characters of the attraction. In addition to, his portrait is throughout the ride still. Yes, well, in, in the attic, you can actually see him playing the piano. Well, his silhouette. Is that him, though? I think that is. I don't think that's him. You don't think that's Hatbox? No, I don't think that's him. I think it's Hatbox. Right now, there's a wallop right after the attic, and the attic is where Hatbox used to be, so there's a lot of speculation. For a ride that's been around forever, for something random like that to pop up, especially right after the Christmas overlay comes down, it doesn't make sense for them to still have that wall up. There's nothing up there during the Christmas overlay. There's nothing that we're missing uh, unless they're putting something new there, and what a better place to put hat box than five feet from where he used to be. Also interesting, there are no animatronics in the great, in, I mean, in the attic scene. There's nothing. Oh, that's true. So that's the other thing too, is he that he would be the first animatronic back in there, if he's animatronic. What else would he be? Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the bride is image mapping. You know, she just stands there and it's- an Here's the thing, at D23. Face. D23, two or three years ago? It was like a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago? I think. They did an animatronic. They did an animatronic of rendering sort of concept of him. It was kind of like a stock animatronic that they did kind of a hat box overlay on. So it's something that uh, Disney's not like, woo, look at this, this is super awesome. But it was, it kind of teased the idea of hat box. That and they got could, and then again. they might bring him back. Right. And D23, I mean, people who go to D23, those people are the people who know about Hatbox and want him back. Right. The animatronic that they had at D23, he was very tall. And in the original one, he's very, like, hunched over and kind of right. like, yeah. So I didn't, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I did not like what they, what they showcased at D23 is what I'm really hoping is not what ends up in the mansion. I hope well, that the it, Hatbox it, it goes... Be. That won't be the animatronic they use. I mean, I hope that it's, I hope that it's nowhere close to that. I honestly hope that they can replicate the original animatronic that we have photos, we, that we've seen the photos and a little bit of video of. Well, I would That's hope, what I, want. I, I would hope that if they do Hatbox again, that it would be maybe similar in shape, but I think that now with the technology that Disney has, they could do way better at making the head disappear from his shoulders. I think, well, yeah, I think that would be, the, the the effect will be better, but I want him to look like he did So you originally. still kind of want, like, the little man with his little box in his head and, you know, out of the pachang. Yes. That's what Andrew wants. Pachang! It is the 60th celebration this year, so it would be appropriate for him to come back. Last year was the 45th birthday of the Haunted Mansion. It's just the stars of a line, and I, I think mean, it's time. This is the perfect time for Hatbox to come back. Right. Now you know that. So. so now you know who Hatbox what is. What do you think? Do you think he's coming back, or do you think it's just all spookulation? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching Mouse in the Morning.